good morning to everyone present over here. Uh, a small reminder, uh, please make sure your mic is turned off during the entire session. Dear participants, uh, please make sure your mic is turned off during the entire session uh, so that we could continue the session. I thank God Almighty for uh, giving us this beautiful day. Good morning to each and everyone who got connected in this webinar, Legal Ethical Steps for the Startup. This program is organized by Entrepreneurship Development Cell of ECE Department in association with Institution Innovation Council. EDC cell functioning in, functioning in SCAT College of Engineering and Technology was established in the year 2011 with the financial support of AIC. This EDC cell organized several entrepreneurship awareness program, guest lectures, various workshops, seminars for aspiring entrepreneurs and support them by providing seed funding, mentoring, consultancy and networking. Now, we have a resource person, Dr. S. J. Selvi, Assistant Professor, Department of Management Studies, Amitta College of Engineering and Technology, Nagar Kovic. She has around 16 years of teaching experience. She has been qualified for Tamil Nadu State Eligibility Test. She had published two books in the recent years. Also, she has been recognized uh, for her as a supervisor for EMPIL program. She had organized many workshops, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship awareness camps. Now, I hand over the session to Dr. S. Jason. Please, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let us start the session. Today, the topic is given startups, legal and ethical steps. Um, have you heard the word startup in 1950s? And uh, uh, in India, 1950s, uh, we didn't hear the word startup, right? This one, uh, when it's, uh, we can hear this word, can, can you imagine that? Obviously, very recent years only, we are uh, uh, hearing this word. Uh, let us uh, see the, our Indian economy. Uh, before that, uh, I would like to say WW Rosto Economic Growth. Uh, WW Rosto was the economist. He said in theory of economic growth in 1960. Okay, so he has uh, given five steps in his theory. One is traditional society, another one uh, precondition to take off, then take off, then drive to maturity and age of high mass consumption. So uh, this theory say, uh, that is uh, Rosto says that any economy need to uh, come across all the five stages, then only it will be developed. Uh, we can uh, give the example of uh, aeroplane, aeroplane takeoff example. So uh, see, when the aeroplane, the play, uh, pilot starts the aeroplane, uh, a first thing, it goes on the ground, it moves on the ground slowly uh, at a stage. Then it goes, uh, uh, it runs very fast another stage. Then it started to take off then it goes up then only it uh, fly in a standard position the same way the economy also cannot uh, grow at a point of time so step by step it needs to uh, it need needs to take some of the stages so here traditional society uh, or india uh, got independence then uh, 1947, since 1947, we are uh, come across uh, various stages and uh, we have five year plans, uh, 12 five year plans. Uh, um, Jargalal Nehru uh, uh, has given the concept five five year plans. Uh, in 1948, uh, 48, uh, we have the industrial policy resolution. 
so that one paved the way the, the foundation of our industry then 1951 one uh, first five year plan started so five first five year plan they have uh, more concentrated on agriculture then 1956 started the second five year plan the uh, our government concentrated the industrial ex expansion in industry there is a small scale industry and a large scale industry we need to uh, build industries over india in the uh, they have concentrated in the second five year plan uh, the concept is given uh, the model is taken from megalanobis model then the, the second five year plan is uh, was not sufficient so they have taken the fourth five year plan also and uh, after the second and the fourth five year plan our economy got uh, enriched the the industrial sphere okay then uh, in 90s also they have uh, given some of the policies uh, industrial policy resolutions to stabilize our economic growth as well as promote uh, regional development uh, regional balanced regional development in 1991 there is the economic reform so after that we are uh, following lpg liberalization privatization and globalization so this uh, reform only makes our economy uh, grow in a higher position the liberalization so before 1990s we need to get a, a, a lot of license licenses to start, start the businesses after 1990 91 economic policy and the industrial new economic new industrial policy 1991 that time uh, in only one license we can uh, get that is open general license and we can start the business so ease of doing our work uh, is very easy and uh, we can commence any type of business over here then privatization uh, before 1990 our economy is holding many position that is our government is uh, holding many uh, uh, goods consumer goods with uh, here with its hand after 1991 it gives or uh, it opens the door for the uh, private people to enter into that and uh, uh, you just produce all those things so 80% of the commodities nowadays uh, private people are pr producing okay then globalization globalization means it connect all over the world it's not the closed economy it is the open economy so it uh, powered the way uh, to uh, we are inviting the foreign direct investment over here and we are going to invest others and we are uh, strengthening our good uh, relationship trade uh, relationship between other countries too then uh, msme msme that is all those things from industrial policy resolution to 1991 we can take a uh, traditional society condition and pre condition take off condition so 1991 we have the tool that is lpg liberalization privatization globalization so our economy started to take off uh, well, you see the example the plane is first moving uh, slowly on the ground and it goes uh, the, it run after the stage it uh, run very fast then it started to take off the same way first uh, we have uh, followed the ag traditional society agri agrarian economy then pre condition to take off somewhat uh, we see uh, we see uh, we get some of the comfort in industrial activities then take off stages uh, um, the government is giving more concentrated concentrate on the rural industries especially small scale and cottage industries so the with the effect they have uh, implemented one act 2000 in 2006 msme act micro small or uh, medium enterprises act so this from this act or uh, rural background uh, entrepreneurs or or, or businessmen 
they are engaging the small as well as uh, medium scale industries and uh, they are uh, producing the commodities uh, various commodities and our export level increased then national income also increases high five then um, uh, after that the fourth stage we need to uh, get fourth stage means uh, we take off stage the third stage we are going up we, we have started so fourth stage fourth stage is drive to maturity we need to reach the maturity level then only it will be stable after that we will get the position of developed countries now we are in the position emerging economies emerge one of the emerging economies india is one of the emerging economies so uh, our government uh, uh, give uh, a full support to initiate the startups so nowadays uh, everywhere in schools colleges and uh, every uh, everywhere we can see the uh, startup uh, awareness so uh, startup initiation in india 2016 that is 16 january 2016 our uh, prime minister started uh, this uh, startup initiation india so to reach the fifth stage okay so our uh, startup is not the simple business but it includes the innovative concept and the uniqueness uh, in the uh, product and services so uh, in the uh, today uh, and i am going to discuss about the legal and ethical steps for the startup what what is startup actually startup a startup is a business what else yeah you can think like that so startup is the business venture with innovative idea if you have innovative idea you can start the business with the idea so government also um, uh, giving a uh, uh, opportunities and uh, government uh, giving uh, some of the uh, tax exemptions everything so startup is a business venture with innovative idea to develop unique product or service and uh, you can bring uh, your product into the market and uh, you uh, you will become the multi millionaire okay so startup india schemes initiative government of india started already i told you 16th january 2016 so its main aim uh, uh, is actually government is providing some of the uh, concessional to the entrepreneurs why first thing is the growth of the entrepreneur is must so in india we are not uh, willing to take risk so one uh, study says that uh, with the uh, with the 1 lakh people 100 people are ready to uh, start uh, take the risks and start the business among the 100 people only 10 people uh, come forward forwarded uh, other 90 percentage uh, due to other factors they will not uh, start the business with the 10 percentage they they ready to start the business but the financial constraint and other concept very few person, persons are starting the business so india in india we have a lot of uh, resources that is uh, not only natural resources but also human resources our quality our indian quality is the second level after china uh, uh, in indian population quality as well as quantity we are in the second position so uh, we have the potential and uh, why don't uh, we start all those things why we are seeking the job uh, for, from others why don't we create the job uh, and uh, provide uh, to other people so for that sake this initiation the the startup india schemes uh, uh, in, in initiated by the government of india in the year 2016 just uh, for 5 years back so main objective was uh, the person who are all involving in the startup need to generate employment opportunity as well as wealth creation so eradicate the poverty and generate the employment opportunity 
then uh, our economy our economy transforming india into the job creators not the job seekers this is the these are the two objective is the very very important the right now so they have started so th these kind of the things uh, comes under department of industrial policy and promotion yeah india is the third uh, largest step uh, largest uh, startup uh, economic system so we have the la third position uh, number of uh, startups we have uh, more than, more than 50000 and uh, america is the first, is holding the first position second is uk we are the third but we are trying to reach the second position because technology based in uh, startup uh, we, nowadays we are increasing so uh, very soon we are going to uh, hold the position the second position largest startup uh, ecosystem in the world then startup so startup means you will have to get uh, some idea new innovative idea that idea you want to convert into prototype that prototype into uh, business with the help of investment your team members and you want to apply its strategy and uh, you want to create the product or process and uh, uh, you, you need to get the uh, money after uh, selling all those things start startups in india uh, some of the examples are here uh, pay team oyo and swihi uh, i can say some of the examples uh, pay team it was founded uh, in uh, 2010 only. The initial amount is just uh, $2 million. And the founder is Vijay Shekhar Sharma in Noida. And they have started uh, prepaid mobile DTH recharge platform, then added the data card, uh, bill payment, etc. Nowadays, they are engaging in railways also. So uh, if you are going to book, uh, book the tra train ticket, First thing, pay team option, it will come. So all over the, the world, uh, they are utilizing the pay team. So nowadays, the successful uh, uh, startup is pay team, Indian uh, startup. Then Oyo. Oyo, the Ritesh Agarwal, uh, he is the world's youngest uh, self-made billion, actually. Uh, he is, uh, his process is innovative. He uh, doesn't have any hotels, uh, restaurant, uh, and all, but uh, he is providing or uh, rendering the services. So, Oyo, uh, at a cheap cost rent, uh, uh, seeking some of the, uh, if the tourist, if uh, anybody is coming from uh, America or uh, England, uh, they want to stay for uh, four or five days over here. Uh, they may uh, they may not know about the Indian territory and all those things. If they are uh, looking in, into the OYO website, they can easily identify where the rooms are available, what are all what are all the types of hotels available, and what about the rent? Everything, all the details given in the website. No, so OYO has over thousand hotels. And uh, 850,500 rooms, then vacation uh, 40,000 over. Uh, so, OAs, OYOs nowadays uh, they are playing a very uh, innovative way as well as they are uh, um, uh, receiving more profit. And he is the youngest uh, billionaire in the world. Then Swiggy. Swiggy, we know that uh, by ordering all those things, we will uh, we will get um, so food food items, online food ordering and the delivering concepts they are having, and uh, it was started in uh, 2014. So this opportunity is identified nowadays. Uh, all men and women are going for um, work. So no time to cook and uh, doing all those things. So, so it's very easy to order and uh, re receive the food items. So they have uh, uh, they are utilizing that concept. 
So uh, here is Vigi, headquarters in Bangalore in India and uh, they are doing well. Okay, these are all some of the startups in India examples. And startup policy. So in the company may be uh, private uh, private limited company or partnership company uh, uh, you, you need to incorporate in this then what about uh, turnover these are all the uh, conditions features of a startup policy annual turnover should not exceed 100 crore so less than 100 crore if uh, you are uh, creating as a turnover it comes under startup then original entity so you need there is no cheating at all okay original entity then innovative scalable it should be the innovative as well as scalable let us see the illustration next slide eligibility criteria what we have said in that once once again we'll see and uh, startup should be incorporated first thing if you have in you any idea to start the business innovative idea you need to register you need to form a company uh, as private limited company or partnership or limited liability partnership in any way you can do it if you are a single person prior uh, uh, single entrepreneur also uh, incorporate the company that is formation of company you need to form a company first second is your uh, turnover should be less than 100 crores and uh, the age of uh, startup is 10 years only then the product should be innovative or uniqueness if uh, already uh, we are running the business for two years and uh, if uh, our product uh, some changes we are doing some changes that uniqueness comes out so that uniqueness you can um, you, know, you can uh, explain and uh, you, you can comes under startup uh, startup and you you will get uh, some of the tax benefit etc so it should be innovative or improvement of existing product or services and processes and uh, your main duty is to provide or generate employment to, to the public and create wealth for the nation next one uh, entity formed by splitting up or a reconstruction of existing business shall not be considered as a startup see already i have a start now i have a business unit and uh, I, yeah it one of the part i am uh, i am just uh, uh, dividing and uh, making some of the uh, making as one startup uh, this kind uh, will not be acceptable by the government and the reconstruction of the existing uh, business is not uh, considered this one startup should be new one by the first stage actually startup initiative in india 2006 16 so uh, it started january 16 2016 till the date let let us see the features and uh, it should be recognized under dpiit so so far uh, 41317 startups recognized okay so out of that uh, out of the 41317 startups uh, from 39 startups we have generated 4.7 lakh jobs and so uh, here self certification so uh, we, uh, we have to give the certificate we will follow the some of the laws law l a w s laws so uh, i can if i i will be starting a business i can give self certification so for example environmental law 
i will obey the uh, law and uh, i will protect the environment so uh, we need to fill all those things and they will provide the self certification then startup india yatra so this one is a rare platform to promote the entrepreneurs and uh, they will he uh, give the financial help also startup india yatra then national startup awards every year they are uh, giving uh, so then 2021 award also uh, uh, going to be given startup initiatives in india 2016 from january 2016 to december 2020 data uh, i brought it so 2016 Number of startups initiated five hundred and four. So, so ten for each startup. So each startup uh, provide the job ten jobs. So five 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 hundred and into four. Um, that is five hundred four into ten for around five thousand job generated in the first year itself. Then second year five thousand four hundred and. 25 uh, startup they have initiated so see the job generation 49000 then uh, 2018 uh, 8 900 uh, around 900 then job generated around 1 lakh 1 uh, lakh yes then 2019 the number of uh, startups initiated 11701 job generated 1.5 lakh what about the 2020 Number of startups initiated fourteen thousand seven hundred and forty startups initiated. Even though we have we had some um, COVID issues, job generated one point seven lakh. So the, this is the details of the startup and uh, how much they have initiated and how far they have generated. generated employment opportunities to the public then how to start up the company in india <clears throat> that is especially legal as steps so legal when we are thinking about legal uh, what are all the things comes uh, comes in our mind law yes rules and regulations yeah standard then requirements policies etc yes startups legal steps they, this is the thing fourth thing um, the topic covers entire thing this one so there are four steps first one if you have innovative idea if you want to start the business these are all the four things first one incorporation or and registration so you want to form the company incorporate the company then you want to register your company okay all the thing you can do it uh, online process then you need not go anywhere else any offices everything you can done with the uh, internet facility uh, so first one incorporation and uh, registration second is tax related tax related you want to register gst and you will get some of the tax ex exemption also next one intellectual property right if your idea is innovative it is applicable to patent so third concept we need to follow then fourth labor law what are all the labor law we have and what are all the things we want to do and what things we should not do all those things we will see let us see one by one first one um, to register your startup we need to follow seven steps first incorporate your business register with the startup india then after that you want to get a recognition from dpiit then recognition application next a document to be uploaded for registration then get recognition numbers immediately after applying all those things you will get the recognition number then ipr related concepts first step incorporate your business okay i am having an innovative idea what to do first thing first thing you want to do uh, register under companies act 
so companies act 2013 so in early period uh, companies act 1956 all the companies registered under uh, uh, 1956 nowadays they have changed some of the provisions added and uh, that was amended and uh, now we are registering our company under companies act 2013 so uh, this one gives an opportunity for merger and acquisition you can join with other company and you want to create a new company and uh, you can do your business and registration of uh, companies roc is must so everything added in the companies act nowadays so mm, the companies act 2013 you want to register first second thing incorporate or form your company as a private limited company so if you are uh, alone doing private limited company if uh, your friends or uh, relatives or some of the people two or more people are joining and are doing uh, going to do the business partnership firm you can register as partnership firm or uh, many people are there and you are going to start a business limited liability partnership okay so you want to incorporate as a entity entity means uh, as an asset so this legal entity legal assets uh, then chartered documents you need to fill uh, fill it out two charter one is memorandum of association another one is article of association memorandum of association means the outer side company's outer side that is what no what name you are going to give for your company so you want to give your uh, company's name and place which place it should be registered if you are in internal valley uh, you you want to uh, mention in uh, in the place place internal valley or if you are in chennai Chennai, you want to men mention in, in it. Then authorized capital. So authorized capital, how much capital I need to invest the, to commence a business. Then um, objects of the business. Why you are going to do this business? What motive you have? Okay. Next, uh, these are all comes under memorandum of association then articles of association this charter is purely based on the internal of the internal management of the company so how much uh, uh, how many directors you have what about the directors duties uh, how are their parts etc everything you will uh, add all those things under articles of association then incorporation formalities only purely on uh, online basis today nowadays so online filling all uh, official website so in the official website you can fill it out the entire thing then they will uh, re register then uh, obtaining permanent account number pan number you will get see these are all very very important step one two three four for registering your company okay first incorporate your company form a company then you want to register so before registering you need id cards no so that that is known as digital signature certificate dsc so this one uh, we can get it after applying uh, all your details so uh, digital signature certificate uh, actually, this one providing for e-commerce um, pre uh, pre previous years and especially e-commerce boom, e-commerce related uh, concept uh, they will provide. But all the uh, nowadays nobody is um, uh, registering in the offices. Everybody in registering via online mode. No? So this one is important. Uh, digital signature certificate it is important. It's like a ID card or PAN card or passport uh, for yours. So it may, uh, uh, yeah, it's used very valid legal instrument. You can show it uh, in any anywhere. And uh, if anybody, anything they ask, you can uh, show it. And uh, for registering your company, this concept is very, very important. Digital signature certificate.
uh, it, it it can we, we can take uh, within 3 to 7 days after filling all those things the, we have uh, classes class 1 class 2 and class 3 class 1 if you are individual person you can apply for class 1 so you can only you uh, the card will be utilized by you only then class 2 the if uh, the joint partners are the anybody can use class 2 and uh, class 3 the agency like uh, agency like uh, business they are doing they will uh, use class 3 and they, if uh, once you applied okay uh, some of the uh, information ca- comes strongly and can i uh, modify the uh, uh, modify this digital signature certificate yes of course you can modify but uh, the name you can't modify other things you can modify so uh, once again uh, log in with the existing user id and uh, go to change uh, dsc details everything you can modify but the name you cannot change so when you are entering the name be careful about that what about the valid validity 1 to 2 years they will uh, they will allow you uh, so before expiring date 7 days before you want to renew uh, all those things otherwise you will get a new uh, other, uh, other you need to apply for new digital signature certificate so this is very important this is the first step another step is acquire the director identification number so this this is the second uh, position so you need to get the number the director number uh, for, for getting this you need to give your uh, passport that is scanned passport um, size photograph and id cards uh, pan card or any id card you, uh, you can give and um, then uh, immediately you will get the number so this is the second step actually this one lands like a uh, license for your business so this is a unique identification director identification number is unique identification number so uh, allotted to individual persons who is appointed as director of a company uh, upon making an application form dir3 and uh, section 153 154 of the companies act 2013 it uh, this uh, it is mandatory then uh, so for getting this scan, send a scan photocopy and uh, supporting documents other documents they last uh, everything you want to give then attach id proof immediately you will get it then after getting the two two things the uh, digital signature certificate and uh, director identification number create an account on uh, mca portal and uh, you will get a user registration user id and password then incorporate or uh, uh, fourth step will be registering part after getting the first one second one dsc and uh, din you can apply uh, uh, that portal you want to enter into that then you will apply for your registration okay, this is the form form dir form 3 4 5 6 are available so everything is available in the net this is the model okay so after incorporating your Uh, company after forming your company second step you need to register so first uh, company sac you want to register after the charter and documents uh, memorandum of association articles of association everything you want to fill out fill it out all the details you want to fill it out you will get the permanent uh, account number after that Uh, you want to apply digital signature certificate then din director identification number then that portal you want to go and uh, start to register so how to register this is the simple procedure online registration only you can download the uh, startup india app 
in your mobile also or you go to portal it's given the website uh, you, you go and uh, upload all those things you will get registration certificate that is incorporation certificate already you have so you need to upload over there and you want to explain what type of innovative concept you are going to do in your business or what type of uniqueness you are going to do in your business and how you are uh, generating the employment and how you are uh, creating the wealth okay then uh, after completing all those things your startup profile is created on web page website after that get uh, recognition dp iit recognition so dp iit department for promotion of industry and in internal trade recognition so uh, for getting this recognition if you are a new user get recognized button or our already user dash dashboard button you click on it and you can recognize uh, over there then what are the benefits of these things yeah uh, here the benefits are uh, high quality intellectual product uh, services and resources you have and the relaxations of procurement norms public norms public procurement norms you you have some rela relaxation and self certification under labor environmental laws so if uh, i am going to if i will be an um, entrepreneur and starting a new business some concession 3 years uh, consecutive 3 years i have concession from uh, some of the laws labor laws and environmental laws for 3 years they will not disturb uh, us okay then we if i i don't like to continue this uh, startup easily i can wind up and uh, access the funds of fund angel angel fund and the seed fund we can apply for the fund uh, easily we can get it and the tax exemptions also given so if you are uh, get recognition from department for uh, promotion of industry and in internal trade we will we will have a lot of benefit from tax exemption to uh, uh, from all the labor laws then recognition application so recognition application so you want to apply for getting recognition that, that is the thing and uh, what are all the documents they are uh, asking that is for, you have formed the company so uh, company's detail everything they will ask or what is the name of the company what about the place what about the authorized capital and every everything and the personal uh, details um product details then the certificate detail already we have certificate no incorporate uh, certificate so every de details we need to upload then after uploading all those things we will get easily the recognition number so after uh, getting recognition number we can start this uh, then cert number we can get easily uh, but certificate it will come uh, the registration certificate will come after 2 days and uh, uh, we need to upload the documents the documents if it is forgery if it is not uh, the correct one we will have to pay the fine half of the our authorized capital so at least 25000 so if your authorized capital is too low minimum 25000 we need to pay if uh, if you are uploading incorrect or uh, not suitable document so these are all the re registration part then ipr if you are having a patent innovative product and doing some patent 
you will get the 80% reduction in fees. Then uh, tax rela relaxation. So if uh, the startup recognized and uh, your number, everything you have, uh, you have the tax holiday, tax exemption. So what you are going to earn, 100% for three years, they will not disturb you. Uh, they will announce as a tax holiday. No tax is collected from you for three years. Then uh, section 56 of income tax. This is the angel tax. Actually, uh, this is related to uh, angel tax uh, exemption. That is, uh, as per the in income tax notification, the angel investors uh, with the minimum net worth of uh, 2 crore rupee or average return of income more than 25 uh, rupees lakhs in the previous three uh, financial years are uh, eligible 100% uh, tax exemption. So you, if you are um, having age investment for three years, they will give the tax exemption. They will not collect any tax. This comes under section 56, income tax. Act. Then easy winding up of a company. If uh, the company, you, can, you cannot run the company for any particular reason, or director's uh, internal reason, or insolvency condition, or any other condition, you can easily wind up the company. Then IP, IPR, intellectual property concept. If you have an idea, so the idea is our property. So nobody is uh, ha is having right to take up all the things without getting our permission. No, so that is not as intellectual property right. So uh, IP rights for entrepreneurs are uh, right provide to protect against the competitor. So competitor cannot uh, take my right. Uh, that is cannot take my knowledge without uh, my permission. So it protect. Uh, um, protect us and all the profit vested with us only so it is safe for the investments too so IPR and startup there are uh, patents trademarks copyrights and uh, other related rights then industrial design trade a secret everything protected patent so if uh, your product is innovative process is innovative it's very useful, it's very novel, and uh, it's not obvious. The patent, uh, you can apply for patent, they will provide. And uh, what is the benefit of that? Other people will not, uh, will not uh, utilize our intellectual for 20 years. Then if they want to follow us, they need to pay for us, okay? And uh, I can sell my patent to others too. Others, then they can utilize. Then use the intellectual we can use again and again for our purpose only. Okay, this is the legal protection given for us. Then trademark, if you are having a trademark, service mark, other will not follow. For example, here, Nike. See the put tick, that is the trademark for Nike. Maggie and Apple, uh, Motorola, Adidas, Coca-Cola. These are all the trademarks for their companies. The, if anybody will imitate, it, it is offensible one. So it's a purely rights is given for them. TM means trademark. If the trademark is registered or the rounded R is given. Design. So industrial design. So in any concept, if you are, if, are, if your design is uh, peculiar or uniqueness, you can apply for the uh, protection. See this. This is the one of one of the example. See the bottle shapes and uh, their uh, um,
see the coverage and the uniqueness so all has the design the uh, uh, registered design so far we have seen how the business is incorporated or formed after forming the business you want to uh, register after registering all those things if you have ipr intellectual property right you are in patent uh, patent trademark and design if anything you want to uh, register you will get 80% of the fee concession next labor law See, when you are uh, going to enter into the business you need to follow all the labor laws first thing uh, there are now in number of labor laws 155 labor laws in india so i have focused in the main parts uh, in for the uh, first one uh, factory sector actually uh, second one industry dispute first one factory sector so first factory sector you want to establish the factory you know so in the factory you need to give the protection to the employee and Shook, sir. Jason Lee, ma'am. Shook, sir. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible now. Okay. Okay. So, Industrial Dispute Act. First things, if you are starting a business, uh, there should be the cordial relationship between the employer and the employees. Then only the, uh, um, the business will go in a smooth way. You can achieve many things. So in industrial dispute, there are two things. One thing, strikes and lockouts. Strikes from employee side and the lockouts from employer side. So here, uh, we need to avoid the strikes and lockout. And the Industrial Disputes Act 
promote the industrial harmony among the employees and employers so this is the thing every entrepreneur must keep it in mind and uh, retrenchment layoff retrenchment means uh, if you are uh, adopting a new te uh, technology and uh, you you need to uh, cut down some of the laborers you need to follow uh, as per the uh, norms so what are all the things given in the act you need to follow otherwise it will be trouble for you so everything you want to keep it in mind so promote industrial harmony we want to give the welfare concept to the employees then factories act uh, the health safety and welfare of the employee health uh, health and safety um, uh, health of the employee then say uh, protect the safety of the employee then welfare welfare of the employee is must then factories condition Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Your PPT is not visible, ma'am. Can you oh. press in the screen? Oh, okay, okay, ma'am. Wait. Just a moment. Is it okay, ma'am? Uh, it's not yet presented. Ah, yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how many more minutes, ma'am? I need to present. Uh, uh, how much time you need, ma'am? Uh, like, uh, we have planned for an hour and we have started at 10 30, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, then. Okay, the, um, just if 10 or 15 minutes, I need. Okay, ma'am. Sure. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Ah, okay. Okay, Factories Act. So, uh, so many provisions given in the factory. So uh, it's all related to health, safety, and welfare of the workers. And uh, factories condition should be very neat and hygienic, and uh, it should be ventilated in, uh, ventilation facilities, airy and uh, surrounding uh, uh, your factory surrounding at least two kilometers forest forest coverages is must then canteen fa facility if uh, there are uh, 500 uh, more workers are there ambulance facility you need to give and uh, if the in 30 women workers are uh, working in your company creech facility you need to provide then so, you you need to follow the rules and regulations everything uh, comes under Factories Act. And the Trade Union Act, uh, the employee employers' trade union and the employees' trade unions uh, are there. And uh, employees uh, ha have the right to enter into the trade union. Uh, the employer will not uh, uh, restrict the persons you know, for not entering into that. So it's their welfare concept. So if any uh, any concept or any grievances uh, comes uh, from the trade union side, you need to uh, analyze and you need to give the proper solution. So next one, Industrial Employment Standing Order Act. So this is the rules and regulations for the company. Uh, what about the company's time? And uh, what about the dress code and uh, what are all the procedures you need to follow? Everything you want to uh, uh, give the awareness to the workers. And as per the thing, they will follow. So this is the Standing Order Act. How the company, in the uh, within the company, how the employees and the employers will be functioning. Uh, for, uh, after following some of the rules and regulations. Next, Contract Labor Act. Contract Labor Act, and nowadays, uh, if, uh, if you are uh, starting a business, you need uh, contract, contract laborers. You want to um, put the contract first. There is the agreement between the two parties, uh, from your side and the employee side. And uh, you want to enter all those things, the, the remuneration, and time period and uh, what are all the 
privileges you are going to give everything you want to mention over that next one maternity benefit act 1961 at this one amended uh, 2015 maternity benefit act so if the women workers are the uh, we need to give some of the provisions leave uh, leave with the salary and uh, if the uh, prenatal and the postnatal period everything we need to uh, allow and uh, in case of any operations uh, we, we need to give the financial supports too then sexual harassment women at the um, workplace this is this is very important so sexual harassment uh, uh, by the employer should be avoided so it, the law is there so be careful about that and the self uh, certification labor law okay all labor laws we have and it's applicable for all the businessmen in this case if you are uh, registering under um, uh, dpiit that is department for promotion of industry and internal trade you will have some relaxation see the six labor laws the building and other construction workers act and uh, interstate migrant women uh, sorry migrant uh, workmen act payment of gratuity act contract labor act employee provident fund and miscellaneous provision act then employee state insurance act so everything uh, for 3 years they will not be disturbing you. Uh, you you need not follow the laws but as per the ethical norms we want to give the all the rights to the employees let them do their work that's all but they will not force you to follow these type of laws so if you are uh, um, assigning all those things they will provide the self certification from exemption of these laws and uh, more three laws from environmental law that is water prevention and control of pollution act then water and pre prevention control control of pollution chess amendment act 2003 then air prevention and uh, control of pollution act 1981 so from the environmental law also they are giving the uh, con concession <laughs> for three years they will not uh, uh, disturb government will not disturb if any risk comes from the side actually uh, we need to protect the environment uh, in the people who are going to uh, start the startups please keep it in mind uh, environment is very very important because we have um, uh, every country need 33 percentage 33 percentage of the forest cover uh, coverage is must then only <clears throat> the country will be improving uh, because in any economic activity it reduces uh, any economic activity it uh, re reduces and uh, degrade the, our uh, environmental quality so we need uh, from the factory uh, the smoke comes out and the effluent comes out all those things that uh, uh, disturb our the entire economy we have uh, right to live article 21 says right to live so if you are working and uh, why i need to bother so uh, all those things keep it in mind treat uh, treat everything and give the pure air and uh, pure water uh, out so um, one case la i can say uh, vellur well vellur welfare uh, association versus uh, union government this was happened uh, it, uh, it it happened for a polluted pay principle actually uh, that vellur welfare association filed a case so what happened in vellur area may, uh, the uh, government established many tanning industry uh, tanning industry and uh, they have uh, if, uh, they have uh, sent out all the effluent to the um, uh, agricultural area 
so what happened all the agricultural areas spoiled and uh, many people uh, in vellur district many people they have lost their eyes and they have skin cancer and severe skin problem etc so the this vellur welfare uh, association filed a case and uh, supreme court uh, gave the judgment like that tanning industry is very very important for our country we cannot uh, remove all those things all of a sudden if uh, we will not stop the functioning of that we will, our economy is go down so what happened already it created some pollution so people affected so for that you need to pay for the people uh, those who are suffering those uh, the people those lost their land as well as those the suffered for uh, very due to various in, injuries so uh, you need to give the partial or full settlement so this is uh, this is known as polluter pay principle there are two principle precautionary principle and polluter pay principle precautionary pay principles means before uh, uh, before creating the pollution we have to pay the uh, amount to the government then with the amount uh, the government will treat all those things and uh, it gives the pure air and pure water and the next one is polluter pay principle if you are spoiling the economy for spoiling the area pay for that uh, amount to um, uh, uh, reconstruct all those things so there are two options so environment is very very uh, important for us so all the people uh, nowadays uh, we are increasing the startups and we are cutting down all the trees and um, everything so we have uh, 20 hardly 20 percentage of the forest coverages it's not sufficient to so other countries and all they are uh, planning uh, in various way and they are having 33 percentage of the forest cover forest cover is uh, very very important our ozone layer is depleting no so we need to give more concentration on, on that even though government is giving some relaxation from these things we have to follow and uh, we have to be an uh, be an indian so for three years no inspection will be taken okay. these are all the legal steps so again there are six laws and three environmental laws totally nine laws exempted from the uh, startup if you are starting a startup these laws you need not say any answer for three years then ethical steps we know well, which is right which is wrong so which is right we, we want to do that is ethics so employees and business ethics so employees so uh, as a owner, what you want to do for employees, health, well, health, uh, welfare of the people, their safety is must. So you need to concentrate on those things. Then customer part, if we are producing the commodities, it should be good for, good, uh, for the uh, customer. So for, your, uh, uh, for increasing your profit, you need not add any other unwanted things. Then suppliers, competitors, everybody. You need uh, the empathy with all those things. Be honest. And uh, IT, uh, income tax filing, everything um, do in a paka way. Then the environment, protect our environment, protect our society. And uh, the government is giving a lot of chance. So be loyal to the government. Uh, pay the tax regularly after three years tax regularly then uh, regulate the business um, and then uh, at last uh, be a multi-millionaire as well as give uh, more employment uh, opportunity to indian people okay these are all ethical steps so startup startup is the one which is providing employment uh, opportunity to the public startup is uh, we have to um, nowadays we are starting we need to reach a lot so
so government is providing a lot of things awareness startup awareness it's not sufficient so nowadays the colleges and schools they are uh, creating awareness about the startup and uh, all those things wonderful topic is given legal steps and ethical steps to uh, uh, create start a startup so it transform our society so it uh, if you are uh, providing more employment opportunities to the public automatically poverty will be eradicated our country will will, uh, will be going in a top level okay thank you thank you for giving opportunity i would like to thank a scad college principal and uh, faculty edc members edc uh, faculty and others thank you very much thank you ma'am thank you uh, that certainly a useful session for the participants who are interested in startup we have arrived to the end of the session i take privilege to thank our beloved principal dr p abidarne for his continuous support in the smooth conduct of this webinar also i thank our department head mr j jalin francis raj who ex who extended his greater support in organizing this program i feel delighted to thank our resource person dr s j selvi who accepted our call and instilled our mind with new ideas for the start i thank Dr. S. Zaina, Zarina, Professor E. D. C. Scatzit for her consistent encouragement and support, and I thank my team, Mr. J. Relin Francis Raj, H. O. D. P. C. E. Mr. Yam, Ashok Kumar, Assistant Professor, E. C. E. for making this event a great success. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your speech. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, participants. um and participants you have asked for the link and uh, you'll be shortly getting the link uh, so you can stay here so that uh, you'll be getting a link and you can uh, fill it up for your e certificate ashok sir madam it is posted uh, okay uh, google meet madam any no. clarification sir any uh, Anything to be asked? Definitely, uh, definitely, definitely, madam. Ah, yes, sir. One query from participant. Yes, sir. What is it? Any startup, any startup network group to join? Ah. Uh, uh, one person is asked. Any startup network group to join? Network group? No, if, if uh, it's available in the net, sir. In that uh, DPIIT. the website you can go and uh, fill it out all those things network group means i don't get the point okay madam thanks ma thanks ma mm. so dear body friends uh, the feedback form is now posted in google chat you can fill the feedback form after filling the form we will get a certificate in our mail thank you to all thank you madam thank, thank you, you sir thank you thank you thank you madam thank you